I'm sorry, everybody. How about now? I just turned in the microphone. The whole other video was set up so nice. <sighs> Yay. So, I am Vicki, your purse curator, and today we are going to talk vintage. Now, I don't know about you guys, but Yeah, Angela. <laughs> um, I love watching, this is still one of my favorite shows, the Andy Griffith Show. And I only watch it because I like seeing what the ladies' handbags are. 
They're just so stinking cute. They're just, you know, let's see. Let me see if I, like this one. Like this is a, isn't this an Aunt Bee purse? <laughs> I love it. I pulled some of my favorite product because I wanted to give you guys the bags as they are. And then I thought maybe we could um, play around with some of these. Here's, here's my four favorite products. And I'm not, um, I'm not, um, what do you call it? I'm not paid to show these. I'm not sponsored by these. I just like these products. I have this, this is a German leather care balsam. This is a black saddle soap. This is the leather CPR. And this I like to do real, when I, right before I take a bag out. So these are my um, go-tos, my absolute go-tos. We're gonna look at some vintage today. Oh, hey, um, I need to talk to, I need to talk to um, MS, and I need to talk to, somebody wanted a blue bag on Thursday, and I didn't have any pulled, but I went and pulled this one. So if, um, I don't remember who it was that wanted blue, but I have a blue bag here. This is the, um, it's like the, the Hermes, I forget the name of it. It's, it's a funny name. It's reminiscent of the Hermes bag. But it's new with tag, and whoever was looking for a blue bag, it's a really pretty royal blue. It's here. Let me know. So, let's talk vintage, girls. Want me? I'm going to pull the... Um, I'm going to pull the bag that was in the thumbnail. These are my... These are my... Um, gloves that I was telling you about on Thursday. I don't wear them. I just use them for decoration. But how cute is this vintage bag? You can tell it's vintage because look, it's, it's got discoloration on the, on the hardware, which is fine. You know, we're talking 70 years old, probably. It's got a little twist lock. Look at the inside. It's got a little zipper pocket. And then behind the zipper is a little pocket. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Got gusseted sides. Love. So that was on the thumbnail. Um, where do you guys want to start? Want me to just start? Or do I have a um, hey, Deborah, or do I have a um, request? I don't know why that's doing that. Can everybody hear me okay? Oh, I know what the problem is. Sorry. Okay. Hey, Angel.
everybody's popping on. We're popping off. I had 17, now I got 14. Where'd everybody go? So who is who is like loving the um, the vintage top handle type bag like me? Waiting for a comment. I just want to make sure I'm on on point here. Okay, let's get started. My first vintage is going to be, this is a blue suede, absolutely adorable. It's like a box bag with a gold chain. Hey, Deborah, hey girl, hey. Me too, Angela. This is a really pretty blue suede with gold chain. And it's like a box. Opens like this. Kathy, what's going on? You're sitting in the hospital with mother for 10 days. Oh. Sorry, I hope everything works out. You've got the little white pocket in the back. It's beautiful inside. And you can put the one part of the chain inside and have it as a shoulder or open it like so. I would still wear this with denim. Sunday fun day. Now, I don't know who the maker is. Let me see if I can find out. But there, you know, the hardware on here. Look at this magnetic snap. Coot. So stinking coot. There's no branding on it. If it is, it's faded off. But we're going to do 20. 20 on the blue suede with gold tone hardware. Vintage bag. Do not know the name. That's the first one. Hi, Deborah. Um, no, this this is not vintage, but it is a kiss lock, so I pulled it. This is um, Jessica McClintock, not vintage, but it sure does look like vintage. Like I said, I pulled, this has um, gunmetal. Thank you, Angela, thank you so much. Gunmetal uh, hardware. Look at the metal piece on the top. It's so pretty. I, like I said, I pulled all my vintage and all my kiss lock because you ladies love the kiss lock. There's your branding. 
I mean, it could be relatively old, but it's it's not vintage. It's in really pretty pretty good shape too. And I I would take um, let's see, can you take the chain off? You could you could take the chain off and just use it as a little catch all in your in your purse. The Jessica McClintock. She's 20 as well. <laughs> Annie, we're all a little vintage, honey. Hi, Valerie. Hi. Darling. My next vintage. Let's see. Oh, let's do this one. This is a Dawn bag for sure. This is an equestrian brand. Um, you know, kind of parallel with Hermes. You know, Hermes is a... Uh, I'm trying to get the... Hermes is a equestrian brand as well. And this is a very expensive brand. I'm trying to get... I'm trying to spell, spell it right for you. V I C E N Z I Inc. Do you get that, guys? Because it's really, the branding is really deep inside. Yeah, this is a Dawn. This is a Dawn suitcase. So stinking cute. It is a um, green croc embossed. It's got a little moon on the front. Hi, Dawn. We were just talking about you. It has a crossbody strap that is removable. Obviously, right? Yeah. I can't believe Dawn went out in the little purple bag that's only this big. It only fit a chapstick and a credit card, right, Dawn? We all know Dawn. So the bottom of this bag measures five and a half inches. The height is four and a half inches and the depth is two inches. And it has a pretty long strap. Not adjustable, though. Look at the uh, hardware on here. Yeah, Kath. Oh, wow, Dawn. I guess that's all you really needed for the day, right? That's what you said. She only takes what she needs. I'm so happy that you're happy with it. Anyway, this, this bag is 35. Good. Okay, Dawn. And it's, I, I'm sorry that I can't, I can't get to the, to the branding. V I C E N Z A Vicenza Inc. Adorable. I had a silica packet in it. Tiny. You know, these are cute to just put on your dresser, too. Coot, right? That's three. Oh, okay, Dawn. Um, I have...
another kiss lock. You know, it's funny, all of these um, like evening bag type things, they're all made in Hong Kong. Look how pretty this one is. It's a fabric, like a satin, like a, it's a slipper satin with the kiss lock. Really pretty chain. It is pink. I don't want it to look red because it's not red, it's pink. Pretty kiss lock. There's no branding. But again, yes, Annie. Again, you can use it as a catch-all. This one's 15. And we're just going to call it the pink with gold chain kiss lock. 15. Or whatever you want to call it, Ange, is good. I can't. <laughs> yeah. Look at this darling satin little handbag. So stinking coot. She measures from the widest point, six inches by four inches with and one and a half inches. Little Japanese inspired satin, oriental. Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. It's darling. It's in really good shape. The opening, see how the uh, the handle is actually where you hold it is is one, and then it separates, looking like it's two. And then the the closure is like a. Look at this bag. It's a mirror on one side and a little ruched pocket on the other side. I can't stand it. I don't think you can put a strap on here, but why would you want to? It's just so cute, just like that. Right, coot. With the mirror. She's gonna be 20 as well. Most of the bags are 20 today. Here is a beauty. Frank, what are you doing? What are you doing down there, Frankie? I see you. Trying to get this stuff off the bag. The stuffing. Wait till you see this one. Oh, Val, which one, honey? 
the oriental piece. That is, it is not a want, it's a need. Absolute. We even have to cut down our index cards for these little, little person day here today. And again, this would be cute on 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 your dresser. Right, Val? Okay, this one. Oh, it's just a piece of fuzz. Look at this. This is um, a tapestry. A tapestry shoulder bag. It's kind of, it, it is on its longest um, length. But it sits, it sits real nice right on your hip. If you wanted to crossbody it. Let's see what it looks like with a shorter strap. love this one this is by a brand called tapasiri and it's just a uh, satin interior with one zip and it is very clean that's there's no it looks like they're staining but there's not, it's just the way the bag is. Twenty. We'll do twenty on them all. It's a fun vintage day. So cute. I'll show the bag that was in the thumbnail. This is a black patent alligator embossed. There is a crack in the handle right here. This bag has to be very old. opens up like this. Oh, it's a <laughs> It's a twist lock. <laughs> Behind the zipper has a little pouch and then you got the zipper pouch. Now there's no branding on here, I don't know, but also I would keep the zipper closed because the lining in the zipper is broken. It 
There is something on the zipper. Let me see. I can't make it out. Some kind of stamped number. And the side, the side has an issue. You see right here. So this one will do for 15. Oh yeah, good idea. So cute. The exterior is beautiful. Let's see. Let's do this. Blue. You know what? I'm going to put... This is a blue leather... Kiss lock, kind of. It's got the bar. And this is by, this is the brand that you always see vintage, Calderon. It's got a pretty interior. But I want to put a coat of, um, um, leather CPR. Give me one minute. I work it in circular motion. Oh yeah, she was thirsty. What quality leather though? I also use these white gloves because I can feel what I'm doing. And then I also use for the, um, the leather, the German leather balm care, um, I use face sponges. You can get these at, um, How you feeling? You can get these at the dollar store. Bulk. They are great for applying any application to a bag. Any product. I can already tell what side I didn't do and what side I did do. Badge, how you feeling? She had 102 fever. That's not good. 
That makes the, that's, you get delusional at that point. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Calderon. Oh gosh, I'm sorry, I'm so, Adriel, which was seven? Did we have a seven? I think this is, Okay, what was seven? Oh, seven was the, um, this one? I'm on eight, so this is seven. What, OMG, what? Oh, my hand is so sticky. And the blue Calderon is 20 as well. Look at the leather on that. It's so pretty. <laughs> Valerie wants the blue. Darling. Absolutely, darling. Does anybody else put, like, their vintage bags on display? Does anybody else collect vintage bags? So, the blue bag goes to Val, right? Valerie? Okay, Dawn, thank you. Wait to see this other one we're gonna work on. not vintage 50s or 60s it's vintage 70s 80s but the quality on this bag I just love it this is a DKNY look can you stand it It's a very large pebbled leather. Removable strap. Look at the hardware on there. It's got the, like this little ball right here. You flip this up and out. Satin interior. Look at the vintage DKNY branding. So I think um, immigration defines vintage 20 years or older and antique I think it's 75 years or older. I love the sound of this bag too. It is heavy, you know, thick. And it's like a cream with a very large pebble leather. You see the finish? I love the way it sounds. 
It's got good hardware. So this is the DKNY cream color baguette. And it's 20 as well. They're all gonna be 20 unless I say something else. Pretty, pretty little purse. How it sounds. I got this other leather. Um, this is a vintage coach crossbody with the post adjustments. So, so soft. It's got a silver zipper and the Creed says United States and it's number 9457. Thanks, Dawn. So I want to do, I want to clean it with the Fine Bing, Fi Bing's saddle soap. I even have a vintage um, cleaning kit. Genuine leather made in England. Isn't that cool? It's got the brush. It's got the, pay, the um, cloths. I'm not using that for today though. I'm using this. Same thing, circular motion. Get it in all the nooks and crannies of the grain. Of course, you only use the black saddle silk on black bags, but this is already coming out amazing. And then I would spray some Wyman Conditioner. I keep the spray bottle because then you can control how wet or dry you want the saddle soap to be instead of dampening the cloth. I damp, I dampen the saddle soap. Oh, it had a little dry patch. It came right off. Corners are beautiful on this. And I will finish with the strap before it ships, because the strap takes time. Nothing like a vintage coach, man. Look at this thing. It was so dull five minutes ago. Thanks, Mac.
Yeah, Annie, it's, I, I, I don't really like go to the, I don't lay out in the sun. I have a convertible, so I don't even work on it. It just happens. And it's been so beautiful here in South Florida that I've had the top down almost every day. So the vintage coach is 60. If anybody's interested, and I will give you, feel better, honey. I'll talk to you later. I'll give you measurements. This stuff is magical. Hi, Frankie. The Vintage Coach Crossbody measures 10 across, 11 in length. 10 by 11. 10 by 11. Angela's calling it. Oh, it's beautiful, Ange. Beautiful. Can't do a vintage show without a vintage coach, right? And I do have a black hang tag I'll add to it as well. If MS shows up, let me know. Beautiful. I think the rest of these are Not vintage, just little evening bags. But I have vintage behind me we're going to look at. Now, this I... It is, Angela. But wait, do you see this? This little silver number. Oh, I'll show you, Annie. I'll show you in a minute. This darling little itty-bitty thing in silver... It's genuine leather made in Italy. Look at the quality. This one's gonna be 30. Genuine leather made in Italy. It's in beautiful condition and you can change the strap out. It's got the um, lobster claw strap. Let me pull the D-rings out so that it lays nicer. There we go. It's just, it just says genuine leather made in Italy. That really cute cell phone bag. That was a piece of fuzz. I don't have any vintage wallets, Mac. We're doing a vintage show today. Um, but I do have wallets I can pull when we're done with this if everybody wants. Wait, do you see this? Vintage. All beads with a very pastel-y floral. Uh, what happened last night? Look at the back. Where'd you go, Cindy? It's so, I can't. See, I would keep this in my tote and run into the grocery store with my stuff inside it. This is 
Tag says, made in Belgium by hand, Wahlberg, W-A-L-B-O-R-G. Wahlberg, made in Belgium. Now the interior, I, the interior is a little dirty. It's got some discoloration. I wouldn't touch it though. Because the only thing that you can clean that slipper satin with would be dry cleaning. And you can't dry clean a, a bag. So you have to just live with it. I, I wouldn't attempt it on this bag. Uh-uh. <laughs> so this one I'll do for 25. And that is the epitome of vintage right there. Who called it first, Valerie? Hey, we should look that name up and see. Yeah, right, Ange? We should um, look that brand up and see. It feels so nice. And the floral on it, the pastel floral, Valerie, is like pearlescent. Okay. I think, let me just check this bin one more time. To make sure I don't have any more vintage in here. I don't think so. They're all in the back now. Oh, I have a couple of these. This is a, um, Just a very simple kiss lock with a little chain on it. Black fabric. I have this in red and black. The black is more satiny. They are not branded. And the, the black is more cottony and the, the red is more satiny. A little bit of a different shape. They're ten dollars each. Coot. Frank. Oh, here's another. Here's a little Express kiss lock just from Express. I'll do that one for $8. That's not vintage, but it's a cute kiss lock with the more like an evening bag. Oh, MS is here. Yay. So the Express Kiss Lock is $8. It's got a little zipper inside. And you can fit a cell phone in here if you're going out. Or just put it in your tote to run in the store. That's what I do. Um, yeah, MS, I need you. Hold on.
I lied. I have two more. I must, I gotta show you what I found when I was going through my inventory and pulling my vintage. Didn't even know I had it. This, is, this bag, ladies, is a first dibs for MS. It's a vintage juicy. But MS, it needs to be recolored. There's your vintage juicy tag. It's got a really cool bunch of charms hanging on it. Like a brass hardware. It is a crossbody. And I thought you would like it. Um, now I can color this black for you. I can dye it black. Geez, I look like a grandma in this dress. Noisy dingle dangle. And yeah. I can color this black for you, or I can color it silver. But it is of nice pebbled leather. It just needs to be recolored. So you, if you want it, I'll recolor it, or you can have it as is. The price would be the same for you. 30 Tell me what you want to do. If MS isn't interested, she gets a first dibs. Okay, MS as is. Okay, honey. Yeah, that chain is heavy. Cute size. You guys. Another beaded. This one's silver. Looks terrible on camera. There is some discoloration on the inside wall. This is by a brand called La Regali. Who does, who cannot even deal with the sound of a kiss block? Won't get a cell phone in this one, but it is coot. This one's 15. Let's call this one the um, the silver kiss lock with with um, squares. Yeah, Annie, your flip phone would fit. <laughs> Angela's making up the names as we go along. That's okay. I have a really cute carpet bag. This is by carpetbags.com, made in England. This is a good one, let me stuff it.
This is gorgeous. This is absolutely beautiful. It's a velvety carpet bag. It is a shoulder. Hi, Tina. Yes, it's beautiful. I do too, Dawn. I do too. It's got a very nice lining, like a heavy duty lining. Made in England by carpet bags. Now, clearly, it's not real vintage because it's www.carpetbags.com.uk. And it is 100% viscose, and the lining is 100% cotton and dry clean only. So this one will be 20 as well. The Made in England carpet bag. This is great because I can put them on my desk. This one, this is made in Japan. Oh my God, it's so cute. Oh my God. with a Y is calling the carpet bag? Yay. So cute, Cindy. So cute. This is a white beaded with a, look at the dainty little chain on it and the little kiss lock. So pretty, so pearly looking and pretty. It's got a very clean interior. I don't think it's ever been used. That shirt, that says made in Japan right there, that red tag. Who sends their purses to be dry cleaned? I do not. This little beaded purse is 20. Let's call this the pearl, the pearl kiss lock, Ange. What do you think? So dainty and darling. Love it, 
I got a first dibs for you, honey. I don't know if you're going to want this one, but I got a vintage fossil with the key. It's, uh, I think it's a little too rugged looking for you, but you might like it. Let me, um, let me just show you the bag. The strap is adjustable. You can make it, it's, it's set to be a shoulder strap right now, but you can adjust it to be a crossbody. It's got a really cool key on it. This is a jacquard fabric. It's got a nice zipper pull, leather zipper pull. And it's extremely clean inside. All right, I missed. So so the pearl bag is sold to Adriel. Did I miss anything else? I'm sorry. Thank you, Dawn. That always makes me look so cute. I can't. Okay, thanks, Dawn. So, um, this is first dibs for Angela, because she's my fossil girl. It does have the key. It's very clean. If uh, Angela doesn't want this, it's up. Thank you, Dawn. Up for grabs. We just have to hear from her first. I love the front pocket on here. Where's my Angela? I'm putting the German balm on here. Oh my gosh. Ange? It's pretty clean. Angela, if you want it, it's $20. It's a little rustic for you, though, or a little... That's true, Pauline. Okay, honey, this is yours. So the little bunny thing behind me is a muff. Does anybody remember wearing a muff when they were little? I always, always had one of these when I was little. And I would wear them to church and keep my hands warm. So cute. It's got a little satin lining in it. Dry clean only. It is acrylic and polyester, and the lining is 100% polyester. Who cares? Stinking cute, right? I think I had a hat too. 
They don't, you don't see this stuff anymore. Keep your hands warm. Mm -hmm. And then you can put the little thing on your wrist. Your hat had a little ball on it. Like a rabbit fur hat with a ball on top. Did it have ear flaps? Or was it like one of those Parisian, what do you call those cats? I can see you wearing one of those, Ange. What do you call the hats in, that they wear in, in Paris? in France. I forget the name. <laughs> MS, are you calling us nerds? Berets, yes, Cindy, what do I? Yes. Valley of the Dolls, oh my goodness. Anybody interested in the muff, it's $10. Stinking cute. If no one is interested, I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it away for my granddaughter. She probably won't wear it, but we live in Florida. Cindy wants a carpet bag. Yeah, we got it, we got it, Cindy. Oh! <laughs> can't, can't, cannot, cannot. I have this little number. Gold LeMay Elvis Presley vintage purse. Look how cute. She's little. This is another one by Coal Blends. This is a Coal Blends original. Mm. I would say 60s on this one. I'm not even going to guess the, the years. I just. Take you forever to research it too. But isn't that cute? She's 20. Cole Blends. Gold LeMay. I have another Sharif. Do you ladies remember the Sharif that um, Dee Dee Bean bought on Thursday? The big white um, drawstring? Well, this is a little white shoulder. Very, st ooh, very stinking cute. It's got the Sharif hang tag in the brushed gold. It has these little gold the side thingies with the... It's very, very clean. It is a creamy color. 
pebbled leather, very soft. I mean, the leather from that Sharif is so nice. Oh, okay, Hana. Tell them to keep it down. We're trying to do talk about bags. It has a snap closure. A very clean brown interior. Here's your branding. This is 80s, I think. Same label as the one from Thursday night, the big one. This is this is little. And I'll get the measurement for you. Nine inches wide, nine inches in height, and a two inch depth. Nine by nine by two. Just a really nice bag. by Sharif Americana. Um, okay, let's see, I have I have another blue vintage shoulder bag in leather. I'm trying to get it to its longest length to see if we can cross body it. No. No, we cannot cross body this one. Oh, this is leather lined. It's really pretty. Yeah, 20 is fine, Nan. Yep, 20 on the Sharif. This one's 20 as well. This blue leather is delicious. And this is an adjustable strap, but it's only shoulder or sh shorter shoulder. And this is by Ann Klein. So I wanna say 80s, right? Well, actually, it's Anne Klein for Calderon. So you know it's that must have been the, that must have been the brand of the eighties, seventies, eighties Calderon or Calderon. Yes, honey, it is leather. It's got a black leather lining and the exterior is blue. It's beautiful. Pauline Paris is calling the blue shoulder. It's darling, honey, darling, Pauline, $20. It does have a zip closure. I just love it. Yeah, it is. Beautiful. Um, let's see, what else do I have vintage? This is an interesting piece. This is an older piece. This is by a brand called Cavalera. C-A-V-A-L-E-R-A. 
It's an Italian brand. It is like a quilted box type purse. Top handle. You've got a zipper on the back. And watch how this opens. Kind of like the Birkin. It's got a twist. And then you unzip. It has a crossbody strap. Actually, it might just be a shoulder strap. But it has a strap. The in the the center zipper is like a mesh. And look at this branding. Must have been a fancy brand in Italy. It's very unique, Dawn. It's a very structured, boxy bag. Very, very well made. Really pretty. I want to say it's like a, it's a creamy color, but it's also got like a very faint green hue to it. Yeah, it's just, a, that's on its longest length and it is just shoulder length. It is different. Pauline re retracted him something. Um, not vintage but I had to pull it yeah it's 20 yep and 20 Pauline is calling Pauline is calling this one oh it's nice Pauline oh you're gonna love it that's a great price for an Italian leather bag vintage beautiful You're a vintage girl, huh, Pauline? Excuse me, ladies. I just have to grab a drink. I'm getting dry. <coughs> Where's my sweet pie? I think this is the one of the last vintagey, vintagey, vintage.
patent leather croc embossed with leather on the bottom. Oh my God, you can't, you just can't. It is a shoulder, it's a lady's shoulder bag. Darling, extremely well made. It's very boxy. Now, I don't know much about this brand, but I will tell you that is is an expensive brand. If you can see, I don't know what that, whoop. That is the removable zipper pouch that goes right in the middle. Can you see? The dinosaur. And it's by a brand called G L O U. No, it's not a U. I can't make it out. There's no other branding anywhere else other than the interior lining. It's extremely well made, beautiful. Does the strap go longer? No. Unless you push that in somehow. Or... Yes, it does. Look at that. I didn't even realize that. So you lift the strap up. It comes off. It doesn't. Uh, it doesn't make it a crossbody, you know, because it sits right here. Well, I guess it could be a crossbody if you're a smaller person. But and then when you want the shoulders, the strap to go back down. The har the hardware on here is uh, dated, let's just say. Yeah, good call, Annie. I wish I could read I need somebody to look this up for me. Sold to Pauline, okay. Pauline, you're getting a really good, nice bag. Because the, G-L-O-C-E-L-I, and it's a dinosaur, or a dragon. What do you think? Oh, you know what? It's the year of the dragon. This bag's gonna bring you good luck. You got a lag, MS? Shoot. Can you go, be, go in and come back in? Go out and come back in? This bag's gonna be 40. Cause I know it's something special. Pauline, you still want this for 40? Let's wait, let's, why doesn't everybody just take a break and go in and out of the video
Yeah, thank you, Ange. Um, let's go in and out of the video. Is it better, Cindy? Okay, Pauline. That bag, this, this bag is special. It's, this is special. Mm, 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 mm. Hey, you want to see something goofy? <laughs> Look at the diamond on the top. $35. We're not doing $35. This is just uh, blue cellophane so that you can see that it's um, a see-through bag with a giant kiss lock on it. How funny is that? MS, I, you would love it. It does have a chain strap, I think. Let me see what this is on the bottom. Hey, maybe you, this would be like a student, um, you know, when you have to have a bag that's clear when you go to the... Um, Stadiums or the car races or whatever. Come on. Well, it has a strap. I'm just, it's hurting my thumb. Oh. Sorry, it has two straps, but I don't think that that, I don't think that gold one's for this bag. It is the same color gold though, which is, And I say that because I have, I'm having a hard time opening up the clasp to put it on that D-ring. The D-ring is too fat for this. But it can be a crossbody. It can be a shoulder. Anybody wants it? I know, right? It's $20. She's 20 as well. A lot of you, these bags are. Now. Pauline, MS, I don't know what's going on, honey. Pauline's buying everything up today. I think MS called it because she was like, she was waiting for the price because she said she loved it, but Pauline and MS work it out together. Look at this B. Mikowski. Have you ever seen? Thank you, Dawn. Look at this darling B. Mikowski in this purpley gray.
Have you ever seen a little B. Mikowski? Zipper, you got one, one section, you've got a zipper section, you've got a third, second, third section and a fourth section. Did anyone want the blue leather purse? This one? Coot, right, Annie? So, Adriel, you want this one? Okay, we can change that. That's fine. Very pretty. Very pretty. I just did. Is this the one you're talking about? The leather, the black leather lining, vintage Anne Klein for Calderon. It's now Angel's. Does anybody, is anybody interested in the B. Mikowski? This one's going to be 25. Look at the D ring or the O rings for the chain. And this is a cute bag, nine inches by six inches. What is sold to MS? The B. Mikowski? Yay! So it's, it's, this is a nice bag. Brush nickel hardware. I didn't say that, but it's in beautiful condition, too. So coot. Okay. This is the Kenneth Cole that I showed you guys. Um, the leather Kenneth Cole. Cute little thing. This one's only 15. It's got the little whip stitching. I think I showed this. This is like the quality leather though. It's really nice, really nice leather. It's very clean. Hi, Helen. Hey, girl, hey. And she's 15. Lightweight too. Kind of looks vintage, but it's not vintage. It's got a vintage vibe, right? Cindy call, Cindy with a Y calling the Kenneth Cole. It's darling, honey. Look at it. It's absolutely darling. Yay.
Okay, I have, if anybody is interested in this Isabella Fiora, this is all embroidered. I love this brand. I just love everything about this brand. So it's got kind of a heavy duty magnetics. Uh, you can see the circles here, 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 and here. It's got a pretty interior. It's got a zipper on one side. And that's it. This one's 40. Yes, Annie, I will get that for you. You know, I'll do a, um, a what didn't sell or what wasn't called on these vintage bags. This DKNY. Oh, what am I missing? Sold to Val, number 29. I don't know what number I'm on, you guys. Is it the Isabella Fiore? Yes, okay. Sold to Valerie. Yay! So pretty. So, so pretty. Great price, too. Um, oh, sorry. The DKNY. Oh, I love this bag. I just love it. I love the sound of it. And Annie, you're calling it, okay. That one was 22, right, Ange? $20 as well, I should say. No, she called the, um, no, honey, she called the um, Isabella Fiore. Love. I can't have them all, though. I just can't. All right, what's this one? I don't know if this is vintage or not. Let's check it out. It was in my... Oh, this is a really nice, well-made bag. Okay, this is by a brand called A-U-R-I-E-L-L-E. -L -L -E. Let's see what that is. I don't even know. A-U-R. Very pretty little shoulder bag. Has like a, um, you see the finish on it? It's like a suede with a, a little bit of a, Crock and boss finish. What 
just trying to see what this brand is about. A U R I E. Oh. Oh, it's a, a brand bag. Price ranging from 16 to 45. Oh, here's something that looks like it. Anyway, I'm doing 20. 24, 30, 34. It's 20. The interior has a zipper pocket on one side, a zipper in the middle, and a snap on either side. So it's three sections. Yes, I agree. I'm doing 20 on this one as well. Oh, I forgot about this vintage. Look at this. Look how old it is. This is really old. Right, Annie? Yeah, we try and mix it up a little bit. Now, the, the labeling is not there anymore. Right up there. It's kind of rubbed off. Sure, Helen. Let me see, honey. Let me see. I don't see anything, Helen. Purse curator at gmail.com. at gmail.com. I'm going to show these last couple of bags and then I'm going to keep the other ones for Thursday. I know, right, Angel? It's the best. It's the best. I have the, you wouldn't believe who makes this. This is a beautiful leather kiss lock. I've shown this to you ladies before. This is my naturalizer. Genuine leather made in Brazil. Beautiful leather. I'm doing 35 on this one. Naturalizer. Leather. Piss. It's got vintage vibes, right? Darling. I'm looking for Helen, but... I'm not seeing anything. I 
Oh, Valerie's calling the naturalizer? It's so stinking coot. This was a really fun day. I love all this vintage stuff. Love it. Love talking about it. Love looking at it. Oh, wow. This is... Look what that saddle soap is doing amazing I'm gonna put a good I'm gonna do a clean it with the saddle soap and then I'm gonna put a nice coat of the the German leather balm on it but I won't waste your time I'm, I'm sorry I just I can't help myself look at the chain on here I love it There is no brand on this. Well, there is a brand, but we can't see it. So we'll call this the uh, the gold nautical chain plus. Right? I agree with you, Angel. I agree. Yeah, the bag will be fine. It needs to be cleaned. It needs a good conditioning. I'm going to do all that. Because it did go down to the, um, it did go down to the raw leather. But the, the black saddle soap is fixing that. Amazing stuff. Okay. Um, that is for Thursday. I'm not showing you guys that. And the rest of these I'll do on Thursday. I have this one. This one's been in the background for a while. 20 inch. Angel's calling it. Adriel, I got it. Um, it's not going to ship right away, honey. I want to put do some work to it, okay? Everything else will go out tomorrow. I do have. If anybody's interested, this is a Brighton. It's not vintage, but. Jay Sweet, hi girl. Okay, honey. This is a Brighton. Patent leather. The only thing is and if anybody can help me out, that would be great. It feels a little sticky. These are little rosebuds and hearts, little. Pretty interior. Anybody interested in the Brighton Kislock handbag 
25. Yeah, I don't have any. Evangelist, hold on, honey. I don't know what we, we gotta... You want to trade what for what? Pauline's calling the... Yeah. I have to write that down, honey. I never heard of that brand. Hold on, S A P H I R. If anybody wants to give this vintage Dooney a shot, now this is, it needs a cleaning. I'm just going to tell you. The jacquard fabric needs a cleaning, but the hardware on here is everything. Look at that. Got a red zipper, creamy colored jacquard with kind of like hearts in it. It does need a cleaning, but structurally it is sound. Now the interior is not in bad shape. That just needs a cleaning as well. Oh, it's just, it's got the old cell phone pocket. It does have, there it is. It does have a number. So if anybody wants this vintage Dooney, it's 25. Just needs a cleaning. Want me to clean it for you, MS? Or do you want it as is? This is a really, really, okay, honey. It's really beautiful. It just needs, it needs some TLC. It is structurally sound. Okay. As is for MS. Okay, I got it. The last vintage... No, it's not the last vintage. I have... Two more vintage. Two more vintage, but the other ones are fun. We'll do those on Thursday. Look at this. Look, look at this. You guys are not going to believe this brand. You can look it up. I don't care how much it is. I know what I want for it. From my girly girls.
keeping you waiting, right? <laughs> Thank you, Hannah. Thank you so much. Got it. This is a vintage. Um, I, I can't even explain the leather on here. It's just, you touch it and you know it's quality. And I didn't even know that this watch brand made bags, but here it is. Take a guess, you guys. Look at this vintage perch purse made by a famous watch company. Hey, Jerry. Oh, uh, we well, have to tune in later. I don't have that much what didn't sell today, but I do have some. This is made by Movado. Look at this. The MS Time Diamond. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the quality of this leather. Yes, Movado. Hi, D Forte. How are you, honey? I'm gonna. I'm trying to get you to. Let me stand up. It says Movado, made in Italy. If you can't read it, this is vintage. This is this is old. I don't know if they're still making it. I just, I want forty for this. And I'm telling you, it's probably worth 240. But I bought it because I got it somewhere and I don't think they knew what it was. <coughs> Pauline, you're on fire tonight, girl. Pauline, you want to give up the, um, did you, buy the, did you buy this one, Pauline? You want to give this one up, Pauline? You got so many bags. That is an MS bag. Helen, I still don't see you, honey. I don't see you on my in my emails. Pauline, what do you say, girl? Spread the wealth. Helen, I still don't have an email, sweetheart. I don't know what's happening. Nope, not there. And the last vintage I have is this eel skin. I love the chains from back then, man. Look how pretty that is. 
It's like a maroon eel skin. You know what, maybe I'll order that stuff that Hannah recommended and I'll get it cleaned up nice and bring it back to you girls. Um, next week or the week after. Unless somebody wants it now. Um, look how pretty that is. It's just a boxy eel skin. Um, it's got a brown, oh wow, what a pretty interior. Is that leather? I think it is. M-A-R-L-E. Gold. Gold, Hannah. And it's by M-A-R-L-E. And it's got a leather interior. What a pretty interior. I do not believe that you can, no, you cannot remove the, um, this, the strap. Part of the eel skin is lifting right there. Yeah. <laughs> Bye, Annie. So this will be 20 and I'll fix that lifted up piece of eel, uh, piece of the eel skin. I can fix that. 20 for that. And that, my friends, is it for the vintage. Valerie's calling the vintage eel skin. How much did I say? 20? Okay. We'll see you next week. Make it a great week. Thanks, Angela. Thank you so much. I thought it was fun, too. Everything was very different tonight, right? Just got an email. Uh, let's see if it's Helen. No, it's not. So much fun. Lots of unique bags. Thanks, Valerie. Thanks for coming. Lots of unique bags, Angela. That's right. So I guess I'll, I'll see y'all on Thursday. Um, what should our uh, what should our theme be on Thursday? Do we want to do? Uh, well, first of all, it's Thirsty Thursday. We can do tote bags. We can do beach bags. We can do. Um, Maybe we'll do canvas totes. I have a lot of those. We could do some, um, good night, Karen. We can do, we can do that. We can send me some, uh, suggestions. Yeah. Okay. Tote and beach bags. We could do that MS. I got a lot of those. 
Okay, so Thursday we'll do, I do have leather totes. We'll do a tote bag Thursday. And I will see all of you. Um, I do have a container of white bags too, Angela. I'll pull that. We'll do a summer, Thursday will be uh, summer themed. How about that? Bye, Hannah. Thanks for stopping in and showing us that name of that product. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Ladies, thank you all very much. I have 44 in the chat, 23 thumbs up. That's amazing. Thank you so, so much. D Forte, thank you. I'll see you on Thursday. Yeah, we'll have another fun show on Thursday. Oh, Cindy, thank you. <laughs> okay, ladies, take care. Great, great day. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday. Angela, thank you so much for helping out. That was so amazing. I appreciate you. So much.